The Governor Dr. Evans Kidero's personal assistant, John Osogo, has dismissed claims by Attorney General Professor Gedo Mwigai that he was involved in a scheme to bribe two lady justices at the Supreme Court. Responding to a question from Justice Philip Tonoi's lawyer, Fred Ngatia, Osogo insisted the two ladies discussed in a short text message with Kidero's accuser, Geoffrey Kiplagat, work for the Nairobi City County Government. KTN's Patrick Amimo has the details. The whole truth? John Osogo appeared as a witness before the tribunal investigating the conduct of Justice Philip Tunoi, who is accused of receiving 200 million shillings bribe from Nairobi Governor Evans Kidero. Lawyer Fred Ngatia wanted Osogo to clarify whether he plotted with Geoffrey Kiplagat to bribe two lady justices of the Supreme Court. Osogo told the tribunal the two ladies he referred to were Masi Kamau and Jen Thiongo. The ladies work at the county government and were to process Kiplagat's application for the position of director of communication, which flopped. Osogo said he was made to believe that Kiplagat was a well-connected journalist. Osogo amused the tribunal when he said Kiplagat later became an extortionist. Why did uh, Kiplagat pick on you and Mr. Njeru to malign your names as it were? I honestly don't know. So if you don't know, why did you not find out? Here is a person who is networked, knows many people, but just chooses to do an avidavit maligning you and Mr. Njeru. The minute Michael Njeru called me and told me he had received that affidavit, I told Michael Njeru, we are being set up for extortion. And that's what I told Michael Njeru. And I did not see it needful for me to pursue that. Osogo also rubbished Kiplaga Safi David that they met at Kengele's restaurant in Lovington to discuss 200 million shillings bribe for justice to Noi. He says that you spoke to the judge on his mobile phone. In oral evidence, he elaborated that during that phone conversation, you talked of a bribe of 200 million shillings. This is a script. You have never met Judge Tunoi. But you, Osogo, would have the audacity to now discuss a bribe of 200 million shillings with somebody you have never met. Have you understood me? Yes, I do understand you. Please give me your direct response. No, that is not true. I would never discuss an issue like that with somebody I've never met. The figures being mentioned here are really astronomical figures. Osogo says last year he appeared before the Anti-Corruption Commission over the bribery scandal. Chief Inspector Mwangi told me that there was a complaint from a Mr. Lelmet. Yes. Did he tell you the nature of the complaint? Yes. Did he tell you it involved bribery allegation? Yes, he did. I Chief know. Inspector Mwangi thought it was a big joke. And that's why I said I was there for barely four or five minutes. Osogo was put in a tight spot over an SMS he sent Kiplagat asking him to confirm the date of a ruling. You are referring to a particular ruling to Kiplagat. And I'm saying, how would he know what ruling you are talking about and what is his connection with it? I am not getting your question, sir. So assuming the Kidero team do not come up with the money, are we therefore safe to assume that this ruling would not have gone the way it did? And what we are saying is we are talking about a ruling by seven judges, and uh, I'm sure you will have had an opportunity to look at it. We're not talking about, it runs into hundreds of pages. This is a ruling that was well thought out, and written ages before. So, again, when if he does come in, I really do want to know how they would have waited until the last minute. The turns and twists in the Geoffrey Kiplagat affidavit will force the tribunal to recall him for further cross-examination to shed more light on some of the grey areas. Patrick Amimo, KTN News, Nairobi.